So welcome to lettering part two. Um, I decided maybe I should do on Mondays um, a little lettering lesson. So today, another one that Christine gave us was let it be. So it's a very easy one. I am going to just sort of kind of wing it a little bit. I am going to make a circle with my pencil. It's more like an oval. Oh, it was a little bit out of focus. It's more like an oval. Let me just see. Versus a circle. And um, I'm going to divide it like this. And um, it's only three words and they're kind of small. And then I am making one of those flaggy or ribbon thingies, which I kind of like. Maybe a little bit bigger. You always have to just use your pencil a little light so you can see what you want to do. <laughs> so to make one of those ribbons, let me just erase my circle out of it. I am making then go a little outside. I'm making little dots in the middle. So in the middle, in the middle. Let me go a little fine. And then I make a triangle. And that's how you can get one of those ribbons that looks like that. I'm going to write lit in bubbles. Because there's no smooth lines, it will actually be kind of easy to do the 3D effect that I was thinking to add to this. I'm going to see if I can make them more or less the same thickness. And I'm going to use the curve of my circle at the top. So I want to kind of have this curvy line so it shows that it's kind of the top um it i may do in cursive do a little swishy maybe another swishy here and then b i'm going to make big bold bubbles And then I'm going to color in the back. And then I will add some details. Okay, so this is basically what I was thinking would be cute. Getting my Sharpie pen. I'm going to do the pen instead of the, just because I want to add some detail. I'm going to outline the Let It Be. So to me, not all lettering always have to have a lot of cursive writing. I like to combine it, but I also can play a lot with different bubble letters. So it's just another thing that you can play with. Make my little swishy, I go up. And I'm just going to outline it. And then you can kind of straighten your lines as you go. Maybe this one didn't need to be as big as I just did it, but it's cute. So it's fine. I'm going to do a little line here. So now this is where I like to come back and add my sketchy line. So I use pretty solid lines to outline everything. And now I can come back and I can make it just a little bit more sketchy, more my style. Hmm, I like that. So let's start at the top. So for the top, I was thinking it would be cute if we can have a shadow towards the left. So what I will do is all your lines always have to be kind of come down the same way. So imagine there's like a little point over here and all 
your lines are coming to the same um, point. It's like a perspective thing, but you can just wing it. Um, so pointing down, 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 see how they kind of all come the same way. And I would do it maybe on all of them. Don't forget these little guys because you can see 3D right there too. And then here, and I just want all of them to more or less feel like they go to the same vanishing point, like right over here. And then you want to add, or you want to uh, connect them. So you want to make sure that they're kind of the same length. All these little babies. And then you just want to connect them. Oh, forgot about this one. Right there. So that these kind of touching. And now you have a shadow that's hanging towards your left side. I'm going to take my pen and just color it in very rough. You can do a really good job or you can just kind of wing it. I kind of like to go, and this is a me thing, in the, the oh, I don't even know how to explain that. The same like this and like this, so it kind of feels the same. Whatever it means. What are you doing? Philippine. And so now I just also want to make these lines a little bit more sketchy. The, those ones that I did in the beginning. So it's kind of matching my thing. Okay, so I did this. And so now my left has a shadow coming towards my left. I love it. Again, the same with the, remember how I said last time is when your hand comes down, you make it thicker. Okay. And I just kind of fill it in, make a little dot. Maybe you want to make your little curve. Maybe just a little bit here at the top. Okay, so, you know, just play with different um thickness and then for this one i actually want to color in the b the the background because i think it will be very striking now there's a few ways you can do scribble scrabble try to stay in lines or just go and crazy scribble scrabble scribble scrabble to me is the easiest way so i will just start like this and then go over it Maybe go like side to side. So this will just be easier to do versus trying to make sure you stay up and down, up and down or perfect. You can also paint this in, use different, like a thicker pen. Me, I like this way. I'm again just using a index card. I like the ones that you can get without any lines on them. The ones that I by accident bought for one and me was like, what do you want me to do with this? So this is gonna take a minute. So I kind of like this messy uh, way for coloring in. Also, it just helps you not to try to be so, so perfect because sometimes that's just hard.
Keep on going. Let's scroll, scribble, scrabble. I'm not using watercolor paper, so I don't know if I can even watercolor on top of this, but we can always see. Ooh, don't go outside of your lines. Now you have to make it bigger. And then don't forget to go into your B. Hmm. B is getting a little smaller. And then I can erase my pencil lines and see what it looks like. The cool thing about Sharpie is it dries really fast. So you can basically immediately erase. Let it be. So we can also make, we can do some designs. Maybe we need a little sun here. That's cute. Let it be. 